My name is Ricky Riser. I'm the number one recruit coming out of high school after winning the Georgia Player of the Year Award and securing my team a state championship in my final season of high school. I'm listed as a receiver, but whenever people ask me what position I play, I say playmaker. Scouts say my best comparison is Debo Samuel because not only did I have 16 receiving touchdowns last season with over 1,300 yards, but I also had over 800 rushing yards with 14 touchdowns on the ground as well, making me the perfect Swiss Army knife for any program. Even though I had an offer from every school in the nation, it was an easy choice. I picked Ohio State because they have the best QB in the nation in Malik Henry Jr. and there's no one on earth I'd rather have throwing or handing me off the football, especially after watching what he did as a true freshman. We came into the season as the number one ranked team in the nation due to the high expectations of me and Malik being on the same side of the ball. Let's see if we can live up to the hype. Of course we will. We start off the first game of my collegiate career against Mississippi State. It's 14-14. I didn't get much tick in the first quarter. We just have so many playmakers on this team. But here I'm getting involved out of the backfield. Off first for about a gain of 12. And then here on the halfback screen, I make a man miss. And I'm able to pick up about 20 yards. And those are the plays they're expecting me to make, both out wide and in the backfield, man. Here we fast forward. I get my first rushing touchdown of my collegiate career. And this is why I was the number one recruit, man. I'm already scoring on the ground. And I'm mainly a receiver. So we're going to see what I do out wide so far. But so far, so good as we're up against Mississippi State. Let's see if we can keep it going as here on another first and goal. I make a tough catch in the slot to set us up for a third and goal from the one and Dallin Hayden walks it into the end zone for another touchdown and on the next drive Malik's dropping back to throw and he finds me across the middle of the field. I make a man miss. I make another man miss with the spin move and I'm down the sideline for about a gain of 30 yards man. As you see I'm doing it on the ground and through the air. They give me the handoff. I pick up about 13 yards. That fumble was ruled down. We got the ball back and ended up scoring seven and then here the very next drive I beat my man in the press coverage and I'm all the way down the sideline. I'm going to take this all the way to the crib for my first receiving touchdown of my career man. Man, one through the ground, one through the air already, and it's only game one. I'm really showing why I got recruited by this team, man. Here, we're on the ground again. I pick up about another gain of 15. Now, Malik's dropping back on a first and 20. He's looking to throw. I'm running across the middle of the field. He's waiting for me, and he's able to find me late. I take the hit, fall forward, and pick up another first down, man, as I'm becoming Malik's favorite target early on as he hits me right here to make it a third and two. On third and two, coach puts me in the backfield to pick up the first down and a lot more to make it a first and goal, and they just go ahead and let me finish the drive for my second rushing touchdown of this game, man, my third touchdown total is I'm showing with this win against Mississippi State to put us I want to know that I'm going to be the best dual threat in the league and then with the best quarterback in the league man so far I don't think anybody can stop us but let's see if we can keep that going man week two we have a much tougher Oklahoma team but as you see on a third and 13 first drive of the game Malik's hit me we drive down the field he hits me again out of the backfield to make it a third and two and we end up scoring that drive and getting seven and then here I'm wide open on the fade Malik overthrows me just a little bit and then on second and ten coach calls a little screen and we go nowhere so on a third and nine we need this first down Malik's dropping back and he finds me wide open over the middle and I break a tackle break another tackle and I'm able to get all the way into the end zone for yet another receiving touchdown as me and Malik continue to show we're the best duo in college football man and I continue to make plays as here we're up 14-0 and I get the ball out of the backfield I pick up about 13 yards on the carry and then on third and 12 later in the drive we need to convert and Malik hits me but I drop the ball so we were forced to take three on that drive but here the very next drive they give it off to me again I pick up about another gain of 13 yards as I keep showing that I'm impossible to tackle in the open field and here on first and 10 Malik's looking for something he doesn't see anything so he's actually going to take it himself man and this is exactly why I wanted to play with him as he never gives up on a play if there's no yards Malik's going to turn it into something and after this run you're going to see that just again as on third and goal there's nothing open so Malik's going to scramble again he's going to try and get to the end zone and he does just that as he gets us another touchdown on this game and that's why I love Malik man he can do it on the ground through the air but he is still human as you're going to see right here as on second and nine I'm open and he overthrows me right to the safety for a bad interception man and not only do they get seven after this we get stopped and they get another seven so just like that man it's a tie game in the fourth quarter we need to go ahead and win this game if we want to be 2-0 obviously so here later in the drive Malik hits me and I'm able to catch the ball man and pick up the first down and then the very next play on first and goal they go ahead and put me in the backfield and give it to me and I finish off the drive to give us a seven point lead late against Oklahoma this was a big touchdown when they need big plays they rely on me and Malik and so far earlier this season we have been coming through as here we are still up as oh you can only get three and this is why I'm splitting carries with Dallin Hayden this is a monster man that's why you see me out wide so much because Dallin Hayden can do it himself as well as you see two big runs to get us inside of field goal range already and then off of the play action our play action game is so strong with our run Malik's gonna go ahead and take it all the way himself to put an exclamation point on this game and give us a 2-0 start as we beat Oklahoma man so far we're living up to the hype as the number one offense in the nation let's see if we can keep going into week three where we have Michigan State a rivalry game man we need to go ahead and win this conference game is here my first catch of the game is a third down conversion to keep the chains moving we need to go ahead and go 3-0 on this season we're a national championship favorite and we're gonna keep it going here as they go with the little screen pass I pick up about five 
five yards. And then on a first and 10, Malik throws a perfect over the shoulder ball to Emeka to get us inside the red zone as he breaks the tackle and gets us inside the 15 yard line. That's another deadly playmaker we have. We have playmakers all over this offense. And you're going to see that right here as Malik's looking. He doesn't see anything. So he's actually just going to try to take it himself. He outruns the defensive end. And not only does he do that, he makes a defender miss and dives into the end zone for yet another rushing touchdown for him on the season. As Malik is showing, he's the best dual threat quarterback in the league. And I'm so happy that I signed with this team. As here you see right here, he hits Emeka. Emeka makes a juke into a spin, into another juke to get us inside the 15. Again, I'm not the only person on this team that can make plays. That's why it's so easy for all of us to get open, man. There's just people everywhere that can do everything. As I make this catch and then they throw me a halfback screen, I make a man miss and I'm down the sideline, man. As I juke back inside again to make another man miss to get us in the red zone again inside the 10 yard line. And coach just lets me finish it off myself as I got us down the field for yet another rushing touchdown on the season. You guys are seeing, I don't know how many times I need to say it. It doesn't matter where I'm lined up at. I'm going to get into the end zone here. 27 to 13 Malik's dropping back. He hits me underneath for the drag. I'm able to get us the first down after breaking a tackle, fighting for some extra yards as I just refuse to go down. And then here on first and 10, they use me for play action as I've been doing good out the back for the Malik throws a bomb to Cardinal Tate and he's going to walk into the end zone untouched as that's just the power of this offense. They can put me in the backfield. I get wide open here on a third and 14 and Malik does miss me. So on a second and nine, the very next drive, they give it to me on the outside handoff. Only have one defender to beat. I point out traffic. I juke to the outside so Mecca can pick up the block. And just like that, I'm already in the end zone for yet another rushing touchdown which will basically end this game but here we get into the red zone again and Malik's just gonna make another play as he doesn't see anybody open he's gonna take it himself he jukes out and then dives into the end zone for another rushing touchdown as we put another exclamation point we're 3-0 on the league and it seems like no one can stop this offense let's see if we can keep it going as we have a tough matchup against a top 10 ranked Oregon and Malik's just gonna pick up where he left off off the read option he gets us about 30 yards on the very first play of the game and then when we get down a little further in the field he's able to hit me for about a gain of 10 and on third and two coach puts me in the backfield I'm able to pick up about a gain of eight to get us the first and goal and we end up scoring that drive Malik here he's gonna scramble again just showing those legs showing the best dual threat in the league in action as he picks up about another 20 yards as he has two rushes for 44 yards this early on I get the ball on the outside handoff I'm trying to pick up some blocks but I hit a double juke to give us about nine yards that was a nice move and then here later on in the drive I hit another juke to pick up about four yards we end up scoring there as well I haven't gotten in the end zone yet but our offense has still been clicking I've been making some good plays as here I make a diving catch to keep the drive alive on a third and four and then here on first and ten coach rewards me with the outside zone and I'm gonna walk into the end zone untouched for yet another rushing touchdown as we're up two scores against Oregon so far so good man this is one of the best defenses in the nation and it looks like we're clicking on all cylinders as here coach gives us a little receiver screen I juke to the inside and I'm down the sideline and no one's gonna catch me as I'm gonna take this all the way to the crib for another touchdown for me this game I started off a little bit slow but now it's time to turn up man as they have me in a one-on-one -on -one press coverage and you guys know no one is beating me on the press I take that all the way to the end zone for my third touchdown in a row as we're just running away with this game against Oregon people were saying this was supposed to be a tough game but we ran away with it and let's see if we can go ahead and go five and O's. we have UCLA we start off with the little shovel pass and then on a third and one coach gives me the ball out of the backfield I'm able to pick up the first down and keep the chains going on first and 10 Malik's buying time until I can break free which I do to give us another first down to put us in the red zone now on first to 10 again Malik's looking he breaks the tackle and he's going to take this all the way into the end zone to make a big play to get us to strike first against UCLA like I said man big plays all over the field Malik is really in front runner for the Heisman so far as he's just been going stupid all season long and I'm happy that I picked him to be my quarterback this year as the offense has been clicking on all cylinders all season long so far early on and here as you see we're going to flip it to a mecca and I'm going to go ahead and lay out a block yeah I block two and a mecca is going to take that all the way to the house as no one's going to catch him man that's one of the best receivers in the nation and he's with me and Malik like I said the best offense in the nation here it's 14 to 14 they try to one-on-one -on -one press me you guys know the drill I'm going to take that all the way to the crib for yet another receiving touchdown and the very next drive they leave me wide open they tried to man me up again and no one can man me up one-on-one -on -one. y'all got to play zone y'all got to double team as I'm saying come catch me you can't as we score yet another touchdown UCLA really had no answers for us all game long man I'm feeling hype and as you see here we're gonna go with the play action Lee's gonna hit me over the middle of the field I'm gonna catch this ball late in the third quarter to go ahead and get us back around the red zone and we're gonna fast forward to the fourth quarter as you see I haven't really made too many plays but we've ran away with this game scoring a few more touchdowns and then this is gonna be the last drive of the game with a little miscommunication Malik thought that was gonna be a fade once I beat the press but it was a curl I catch the ball anyway then here we give it to Dallin Hayden our other back man one of the best backs in the nation along with me he makes four men miss with one juke and we're going to cap off this game with the slant touchdown to me to improve to 5-0 on the season leading up to a very important game we're getting in some intense practice this week as we go up against undefeated michigan this game isn't only important for the rankings but this is the same team that come leaks national championship run short last season when he got injured against them in the first half allowing michigan to go on to win the game 
Meme Malik talked and he said this is the most important game we have all season and he is determined for revenge. I wasn't here, but you messed with my QB. That falls down to me. I haven't even played Michigan yet in my career, but I already hate them. And I don't know what it was about that practice, but we were locked in this whole game. As you see, the very first play from scrimmage, Malik's going to hit me on a corner route and I'm going to take it to the crib. 75 yards to so go ahead and open it up. We're on the road in the all black blackout. I got the black forces on. Malik said that this is strictly business. In the very next drive, he hands it off to me and I'm going to take this to the crib as well for a 75 yard touchdown, man. After I make a man miss, all the way no one's gonna catch me one through the air one on the ground for, for a total of 150 yards and two drives Malik told me I need to rise to the occasion if we're gonna win this game and that's exactly what I'm gonna do man one thing I love about Malik is that he's not gonna ask for something if he's not gonna give it to him in return so here he's gonna take this read option to the crib for 75 yards to give us yet another touchdown and give us a three score lead on Michigan man he's hopping into the end zone Malik is locked in I'm locked in we're all locked in man this is the game for us it's here 24 to 14 I get yet another touchdown through the air as I make a double juke into the end zone now it's 31 to 14 we're just pouring it on as Malik hits me in the seam and of course I'm not going to get caught man that's going to be another touchdown as I have four touchdowns in the first half like I said earlier man you mess with my quarterback you mess with me and I'm already mad about last season and I didn't even play so we're, so I can't even think to imagine how these players feel Cardinal Tate was on that losing team as well as he gets him a touchdown man we're just firing on all cylinders they can't stop any of our playmakers we're just pouring it on here as Malik's going to throw another lob to Cardinal Tate or big game man he's down the sideline and he's not going to give up on the play as he hits a spin move makes two defenders miss and he's going to take this all the way to the house as he jumps into the end zone man Cardinal Tate had him a game and that's not going to end there as here on a fade ball to go ahead and put an exclamation point on this Michigan matchup Cardinal Tate gets him his third touchdown in the second half I had four in the first Cardinal had three in the second we just have playmakers all over the field as you see Malik Henry literally did not miss a throw this game as we drop over 60 points on the number one defense in the nation let's see if we can continue this momentum all the way to the end of the season and get us a national championship